Hi, I'm Hayden Nelson, Principal Marketing Manager for Software Defined Radio here at NI, and welcome to my home office where we have guitars and SDRs. So what I wanted to demonstrate to you today is how you can use commercial off-the-shelf uh, software defined radios to do things like prototyping communication systems as well as radars. And so what I have here is actually a radar prototype. And so you may want to do this if you're researching new radar algorithms or perhaps you want to do system level tests trying out new RF front end technology with an actual uh, system that can emulate the functionality of a real radar over the air. So what I have here today is I have an, a USRP uh, or one of our Edis Research branded USRPs. Um, this is our E320, USRP E320. And I have it actually emulating a radar. So I have, it's a two by two MIMO capable radio, um, but I actually only have it running a single channel out in a single channel. So I have one channel, um, connected to each of these two antennas here. One is acting as a transmitter and one is acting as the receiver. And so the way a radar works, if you're not familiar, you can do based on like timing and phase information, it can calculate the range of a target as well as using the Doppler information on the signal to calculate the velocity moving towards or away. And so what I have here is I have this radio connected to my laptop here. Uh, over a one gigabit ethernet connection, and I'm running a software called GNU Radio. Now this is a free and open source software tool that you can download and it comes with a lot of IP, but um, this particular instance of it, I'm actually running GR Radar, which is an, uh, an out of tree module that can emulate real radar functionality. So let's take a look at the software. So as you can see here in, in a GNU Radio Companion, there's this is kind of the example program here. We won't go through the details of this, but I got this running and, and you can see here that on the this plot on the left is the velocity plot and in here on the range plot, I'm getting a lot of kind of scatter because I'm not tracking on a specific target. Now let me bring into the into the scene here a moving target that is going to be just oscillating back and forth. Now this target is uh, walking slowly towards the transmitter and slowly away and you can see it oscillating here back and forth and now as, as we're we're doing this, we're picking up several um, coherent velocity and range tracks on this target, um, you know, because it's moving. Now, as the target stops, you can see that we are no longer tracking a moving velocity. So that's just one example of how you can take open source IP with commercial off-the-shelf software-defined radios. Here we're using our E-Series. We have a whole breadth of, of radios that have, bring to bear a lot of different um, capabilities, but if you want to learn more about how you can use software-defined radio from NI with open source tools to prototype or test your system with over the air with, with you know real signals and systems, go to ni.com slash SDR or visit us at edis.com. Thank you.